hello guys and happy new year welcome to my channel my name is monique if this is your first time here kindly click on the red button below to subscribe in these tutorials we'll be learning how to make a round color shirt dress with placket and a waist drawstring it's actually a cut together sleeve so let's get into it So I'll be using this fabric, it's a two and a half yards of fabric. So the fabric is on a fold. I used the biggest part of the bodies, which is the hip. I added extra five inches. So I've gone ahead to take the shoulder line. So from the shoulder line, I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. I'm actually using everything here. So I'll take the neck width. I'll be using three inches for the neck width and three inches for the neck depth. So I'll just connect it like this. So from this one inch mark I came down, I'll connect it to the neck width. That's our shoulder slope. Now I'll take half of the shoulder. I'm using eight inches. Then I'm adding extra seven inches for the sleeve. So everything I have here is about 15 inches. Then from the shoulder slope, I'll take the chest line. The chest line is eight inches. Then from this point here, from the main shoulder, I'll take 9 inches here. So I'll go ahead and take the shoulder to waist. I'm using 16 inches for the shoulder to waist because I want it to go up a little. Then after that, I'll take the shoulder to hip. The shoulder to hip, I'll be using 26 inches for the shoulder to hip measurement. Then I'll take the shoulder to full length. The shoulder to full length is 42 inches. So I'll be adding extra two inches for seam allowance. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines. After doing this, I'll take the bust circumference. The bust is 38 divided by four. That's quarter of 38 will give me 9.5. So I'm adding one inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance. That's two inches. Then on the waist, I'll be using what I have on the hip for the for the waist remember it's going to have a string to snatch the waist so the hip is 41 divided by 4 to give me 10.25 so i'm adding two inches for seam allowance so i'll use the exact thing i use on the waist on the hip 10.25 plus two inches then on the full length i'll repeat the same thing the 10.25 plus two inches so now i'll go ahead and connect the lines like I said, I'm using the hip measurement on the waist because I'm going to attach a casing, a string that will snatch the waist. So from this point, I'll come down by 9 inches. That's from the shoulder slope. I'll come down by 9 inches for my sleeve. I'll connect it straight to this line, like so. Then I'll make a little curve here to shape the armhole. After doing this, I'll just connect it here like this with a straight line. So this is our sleeve. Then I'll come to the full length on the hemline here. I'll make a little curve. So I'll come in by 3 inches. It's going to have a curve on the hemline. Then from this folded part, I'll come in by 5 inches. After doing this, I'll just take a straight line to the seam allowance. Then I'll curve it this way to meet the seam allowance. So this is how it, the full length is going to be. So I'll go ahead and trim it out. I'll cut out the neckline, the shoulder slope, and this is our cut together sleeve. So I'll cut the back. So I've placed the front on the back. The only difference is, is the same thing. The only difference is that the back neck is one inch. That's the neck depth is one inch. So I'll go ahead and trim it out. So this is the front and back. So I'll notch the waist here so that I'll know where the waist is. Now, the next thing I'll do on the front, this is the front pattern. This is the center front. I'll come down from the neckline here. I'll come down by 13 inches on the center front. Then I'll take half inch on both sides. That's from this, from this center front. I'll take half inch on both sides. So I'm trying to use a pen so that it will show what I'm doing. I'll take half an inch on the other side. So that means I have one inch. So I'll connect it with a straight line. So 
we are trying to create our placket. So we have one inch here. Now on the lower part here, I'll come up by half an inch. Then I'll, I'll from this center line, on the center line, I'll make like a triangle shape. From the center line, I'll connect it to the to this point that's on the half inch line. I'll connect the other side. So we have like a triangle shape here. So what I'll do, I'll cut through this line and stop on this half inch. So I've cut through the line. As you can see, I stopped before the triangle shape here. So I cut on the half inch mark. So I've gone ahead to cut a strip of fabric on a fold. So on a fold, I have 1.5 inches. So I cut out two. I used the length of the dress and I added extra one inch for seam allowance. So when I open it up, I have this. I added interfacing to it and I marked quarter inch on both sides. I marked quarter inch on both sides. So what I'll do, I'm going to place it on the shirt like this. So the good side of the band will be on the wrong side of the shirt. So what I'll do, I'm going to stop at the half inch mark here. So I'm going to pin it up. So I'll do the same thing here. Stop at the half inch mark and just pin it up and show you. So I'll go ahead and sew it. Then I'll come back and show you when I'm done. So I've fixed the, I've stitched it by quarter inch all the way and I stopped at this half inch mark. So the next thing I will do, remember that, that triangle shape we did earlier, I'm going to cut through it like so. So I'm going to follow the mark and stop exactly where it stops. I'll cut through it on this side. Then I'll cut the other side. So as you can see, it's looking like an M shape. So what I'll do, I'll turn it over. Then I'll pass it through. I'll bring it out like so. So that shape just helps it come, come out easily. Now I'll iron it. So I've ironed it and on this part, on the edge here, I ironed it by half an inch. I folded it by half an inch. That's what I used to top stitch this part. So I'll make sure this part is inside like this. Then I'll, I'll cover it up like so. I'll tuck it in and I'll use this half inch I iron to cover it up. Then I'm going to top stitch it here. I'm going to make a very tiny, tiny stitch, less than quarter inch to cover it up. I'll leave this side. I'll explain this side later. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll make sure this part is inside and I'll top stitch it. So I've gone ahead to top stitch it. I've covered it up. Now on the lower part, I'm going to fold this in by half an inch. That then the other side, I'll use it to overlap the other placket. So like I said, I'm going to fold a little on the lower side by half an inch. After doing that, I'll use this part to cover it up. Then I'll also fold this side by half an inch like this. Then I'll place it on top. Make sure this part is flat. Make sure the shirt is flat like this. Then I'll mark one inch on the upper part like this. This is the one inch mark. Then I'm going to top stitch on it. So from this point, from this one inch mark here, I'll top stitch it, cross it over, top stitch this part also, and turn it to this point like a square shape. So guys, I've done that. So this is the wrong side. I folded here by half an inch. Then this is the good side. So this is the placket. I hope you can see it. So now I'll be joining the front and back together on the shoulder. So I'll place it, I'll make sure it aligns. I'll sew it by half an inch. Then from this point, I'll also sew it, cover it all the way down by half an inch. So I'll show you. I've joined the two side seams. What I'll do next is to measure the round neck. 
to cut the round collar. So when I measure the round neck, I have about 20 inches. So I have about 20 inches of the round neck. Now I folded a hair stay, or you can call it a paper stay. I folded it into two that we used to cut out the collar. So what I'll do, I'll just take a random straight line from this part, maybe by half an inch. So after doing that, on the folded part, I'll come in by three inches for the neck width. So this is the neck width. I came in by three inches. Then from this same three inches, I'll take another three inches for the neck depth. Remember, I used three by three. That's three inches for the width and the depth. So from this three inches mark, I'll take a straight line, like a horizontal line. So it will look like an L shape. So from this point, from this first three inches, I'll curve it. I'll curve it to meet this line here. So I'm using a free hand. You can just use a free hand to curve it in to meet this line. So this is the curve. So after doing that, remember the neck round is 20 inches divided by 2 to give me 10 inches. So I'll place the 10 inches from this folded part here. Then I'll use my measuring tape to trace it until I have the 10 inches mark. So I'll, I'll mark it here. So this is the 10 inch for the neck round. Remember it's divided by 2. I'm adding extra half an inch for seam allowance. So what I did was from this point, I took three inches in and from these three inches, I took another three inches and I made a straight line. Then you can just from this angle point, you can come in by 1.5 inches if you get confused to just guide you on how to trace your curve. Then you have this. So then you can also reshape it or recheck it. I beg your pardon. You check your 10 inches mark again to be sure it's accurate so as you can see i have a little excess so i'll retake the mark so that's the 10 inches so i'll use this other one as the seam allowance so from this point i'll come in by 1.5 inches you can also use one or two inches it depends on how wide you want the neck to be but for this i'm using 1.5 inches for the for the neck round so I'll curve it so I'll be cutting this out so you can decide to make a little curve at the edge of the collar just a little shape like a bishop collar so I'll go ahead and cut it out Remember, I'm cutting it on a hair stay or, or a paper stay. Depends on what you call it. So this is what I have. So I'm going to iron it on the fabric and I'll show you. So I cut it exactly. I used the exact measurement to cut the fabric and I ironed it on the fabric. So this is the outcome. Then I cut another fabric, a bigger one. Then I, I'll be placing it, the main collar on it, that's good side to good side. Then I'll be sewing it, I'll be sewing this top part. But before then, let me just pin it up so that it will not shift. So I'll sew from this point all the way by quarter inch to the end here. And I'll show you, this part will be open. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew on this part. So what I did was I added interfacing on the other bigger fabric. I forgot to do that. So I'll just cut it out. So I've ironed it and I folded one part of the collar by half an inch. So before fixing it on the dress, this is what it looks like. If you notice, the lower part of the collar is wider and the top part is smaller. So this is how a round collar looks like. So now I'm going to place it on the dress. So the collar will be on the, will be on the wrong side of the, of the dress. So I'll make sure the side seam is on the placket. That's the beginning of the collar is on the placket. I'll make sure it aligns. 
so i'll make sure i sew it by a quarter inch from this point after placing it properly here making sure it's properly aligned i'll i'll pin it up then i'm going to sew it by a quarter inch all the way till i get to the end of the of the collar so i'll repeat the same thing i'll make sure this stitched part here on the collar here is on the beginning of the placket i'll make sure it aligns same thing as the other side i'll fix it properly and i'll pin it up so i'll stitch it by quarter inch and i'll show you so guys i've gone ahead to stitch this part all the way to the other side by quarter inch so this is it so i'll use this other part i folded by half an inch to top stitch it i'll make sure this part i stitch is properly placed inside then i'll use the other other side of the collar to top stitch it all the way till i get to the end so i'll do that and i'll show you i've gone ahead to top stitch it so i decided to pin it up before top stitching it so that it will not gib it will just make it stay firm when you pin it up so this is the outcome of the collar so our collar is fixed now on the waist i'm going to fix a casing on the waist so i've gone ahead to mark it with a chalk all the way around i marked the back also so from the shoulder to the waist i use 16 inches so i've gone ahead to cut another strip of fabric the round waist is about 40 inches so i cut out the strip of fabric by 43 inches so i cut it by 2.5 inches but i have 1.5 inches because i have folded this part by half an inch on both sides i folded half an inch on both sides that i'll be using to for the casing so i'm left with 1.5 inches so i'm going to show you how you fix it on the dress so to fix the casing on the dress i'll make sure i get the center front so i'm trying to check to be sure of the center front so this is the center front and i'll take half inch on both sides so the casing is going to start from this half inch mark here i'll place it from this point here then i'll sew it but before then I'm, i'll fold this part in i'll fold it in by half an inch then i'm going to top stitch here after i top stitch it then i'll place it on this half inch mark here after doing that i'm going to top stitch it here i'll make a very tiny stitch here then i'll do the same thing on the lower part so i'll sew it from this opening here so that i don't sew on the back i'll make sure i i place it properly on the sewing machine and i'll sew it from this point making sure i don't sew on the back that's why the opening that's why i'll be following it from the opening then i'll turn it round i'll continue to sew it making sure i'm following the mark i made then i'll sew it i'll top stitch it all the way and i'll end it here then i'll cut out the excess then i'll do that and i'll show you guys i've gone ahead to top stitch it as you can see this is the the stitch i made you can see it's very tiny and it's looking very neat so i left this one inch part open so we are we are fixed our casing this is the back this is the outcome as you can see it's looking really nice so i followed this opening to achieve that so you have to be very careful when you sew this so that you don't sew on the dress so this is the opening that's the casing we'll be attaching a strip here so i'll be cutting another strip so i've gone ahead to cut out a strip i cut it by one inch the width is one inch and the length is about 70 inches so i'm going to fold it by quarter inch here from the two edges i'll fold both sides by quarter inch then i'll refold it like this I'll fold it to cover the edge then i'll top stitch on it i'll sew on this part here 
so i'll continue to do that till i sew it to the end of the strip so i'll fold this part in by quarter inch fold the other side then i'll fold them together like so then i'll sew it and show you so guys this is the strip like i said the length is about 70 inches long so i'll be using a safety pin to tuck it into the casing so i'll pass it through this hole this opening so i'll just tuck it in so i've tucked it in this is the strip so you can easily pull it to give it that that gathers or that effect on the waist then you tie it up or however you want to do it so after doing this the next thing i'll do on the sleeve i'm going to attach a little band to it so i'll still use the main fabric to do that so i'll get the round of the sleeve so the round is about 19 inches so i've cut another strip of fabric so i cut it by 20 inches that is one inch for seam allowance so what i'm going to do i'm going to fold it this way i'll fold it together like this then i'll sew it by half an inch so i've pinned it up then i'll turn it over make sure i fold fold it together like this i'll fold it in and i'll have something like this so i'll be sewing it all the way around to the dress so i forgot to mention the the on a fold i have about 2.5 inches so i'll be using half an inch for joining so we'll be left with two inches the half an inch is for seam allowance so that was what i did here so i'll be sewing it on the sleeve so on this side this side seam i'll make sure after sewing it i'll make sure it aligns with the main side seam of the dress here here so I'll place it together, then I'll pin it up. So I'll be sewing it by half an inch all round. So I'll sew it all round, then I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So after doing that, on the lower padders on the hemline, I'm going to sew it also. So from this cuff part, I'll fold it like this. Make sure you start from the cuff part. I'll fold it like this as i'm double folding it fold it by half an inch and i'll refold it again by half an inch then i'll top stitch on it all the way around then i'll do that and i'll show you so guys we're done i fixed the band to the sleeve so this is where i stitched i repeated the same thing on the other side of the sleeve then on the full length, the hemline, I've also stitched it by half an inch and I've also gone ahead to give it a good press. So now on the placket, I'm going to fix a press button on it. So this is a press button. This is what it looks like. So this side will be on the collar here. So I'll be using a hand needle to sew on it. And what I'll do is I'm going to place about four of the press button on it. I'll measure what I have on the placket and I'll divide it by four to mark where the buttons will be. Like I said, I'm going to use a hand needle to sew on it. So after I do that, on this other side of the placket, I'll make sure I sew on this part, on one of the bands, so that it will not show on the front. I'll just sew on one of the bands. So I'll do that and I'll show you. I fixed the button to the dress. As you can see, it's not showing here. So this is the first button. And this is the second one. So I'll just close it up. So guys, we've come to the end of this tutorial. So this is the outcome of our dress. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Happy New Year once again. And thanks for watching.